What's going on, Gam fam? You feel me? I already know you guys. Peep the drip. Y'all peep the drip. I call it the one arm binocle, binocles, funicles, whatever they call them. What? You feel me? Well, let me stop playing. But what's going on, Gam fam? It's been about two weeks since I posted. I'm bringing you guys a new video about, you already know, the Maxima. She is still here. She is at 206,000 miles, you feel me? 206,000 miles. This video... This video is going to cover everything that's wrong with the Maxima. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. I know it looks great on pictures. You know, I got pictures like this. I got pictures like this. I got little rollers like that. You feel me? But at the end of the day, this car has a lot of imperfections that I try to hide from you all. But today I'm showing it all raw, unedited footage of the Maxima. You know, all the rust spots and everything that's wrong with it in terms of functionality and its looks. So let's go ahead. First thing first, I'm gonna wash it because it looks really terrible right now. I went to Jacksonville, drove down to Orlando, Orlando to Miami, Miami back to Orlando about a week ago. And it has like all types of road dust, bugs, rabbits, frogs, all types of stuff that I hate on the road. So let me go ahead and clean her up and then we'll dive into the 200,006 mile maxima and its imperfections. Out here. I was only 16 in a new coupe. Me and my niggas riding foreigns. This ain't nothing new. Don't fuck wrong with all these niggas talking sweet shit. God damn it. <laughs> all right, guys. So I am at Caliber Collision. Caliber Collision. However you guys say it. We got the Maxima in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that's wrong with her, all her imperfections, and talk about her just a little bit, a quick little overview of how she's been treating me for the past couple of years and why I love this very car so much. So let's go ahead. I'm not even gonna waste time. It's kind of cloudy right now and the rain is kind of pouring. I don't think you guys can see it, but I'm not gonna waste time, let's dive into it. If you look at the lip right down here, you know, you can kind of see all the scratch marks and everything that I hit on the road. We have a little bit of rust right here on the bumper. This is where I used to have my little tow hook thing hanging out. I don't have it anymore, I took it out, but all that rust over the years kind of sat into the paint. My front bumper has all of these kind of like chips and marks into the paint, which is um a big imperfection in the paint of the car. The paint of the car is a big, big no-no. I have chip marks in the hood right here. Over here, it was my fault. Oh! I um, used the um, drill bit with the eraser wheel and I thought the eraser wheel worked on plastic. It does not, it will eat through plastic. So never use the eraser wheel on plastic. With these headlights, there's nothing wrong with them. Everything's kind of perfect. Um, with these, the quick release bumper latches that I added on. Um, yeah, I put some silver screws on there. I tried to paint it black. That's another imperfection. You know, you can kind of see that when you look into it and stuff like that. That's another big imperfection. I'm using hair ties. I'm using hair ties to hold my bumper together with the bumper quick releases. My bumper is also being ate up against my tire because the fitment, I got that tight fitment. My wheels, my wheels are chipped. Um, the paint is getting old. It's been about, what, almost two years now since I painted them. No, I lied, about a year. A little bit over a year since I painted them. So yeah, I have a lot of chipping in the paint. I have a couple door dings. I don't know who keeps parking next to me and dinging my card, but I will find you and I will kill you. That was Corey. Corey just passed by. But um, yeah, I have um, a stripe, which you can't see in the hood because right now it's raining, but you can see it on the roof this stripe marking and as well as the stripe pieces that I didn't fully take off yet. Still another thing to worry about. It's another imperfection. My low and slow sticker has also chipped away and I'm not sure if oil slick happened. This happens to all oil slick stuff, 
but my oil slick low and slow like has all these black dots now it looks like you know when a um, mold when mold forms from like bread um that's it really for the front end exterior portion my side skirts my side skirts are uneven like it's not straight uneven um and when we work our way to the back right here i have the biggest rust patch on the actual body of the car really big oh my god i hate that i also have some black overspray from paint that i try to patch this up with and it didn't work big big curve scratch right here and you guys can actually see the actual color of the rims that is the actual color of the rim before i paint it over it um another rust patch right here a rust spot another rust spot right here this happened when i try to take the tail lights off when i popped it out i kind of like hit this too hard and um yeah it did this you know on the back end um a couple imperfections one starting with i had a little baby spoiler on here that i crazy glued on so yeah crazy glue is not gonna come off if you guys know how to remove this i would really appreciate you guys telling me on how to do so um i also have the nissan badge that when i removed it i used the sponge that was a little too rough so it left a little you know patchy spot as well as where the maxima sign used to be they left a patchy spot um as far as the back end the under there is concerned it's not too bad it's not too much going on down there that i really worry for look at that fitment though Sheesh. on this side of the car we have also rust going on mostly on the interior side of the um back fender uh, something dented me right here i still don't know what it was but um it dented the car pretty bad it's like really deep as far as the outside goes i also have this um overspray well paint that's really chipping off off of the blackout that i did from from the chrome trim the door handles i i plastic dipped the whole door handle but over time from people touching this it came off but this part kind of remains so i still have that that's one of our neighbors sounds good my at name is peeling off on this side my side skirt is cracked yeah yeah that happened um i think that's it for the exterior portion of everything wrong with my car now let's dive on the inside first of all it's dirty as hell I just watched the outside for the purpose of making this video. I don't care if you guys judge me, go ahead. But yes, my car is dirty as hell because I have a lot going on. I work 24 seven and I didn't have time to really remove all of this. I saw the rain coming, so I jumped straight into making this video. But let's go ahead and show the imperfections on the inside. Number one is my steering wheel. Um, I ripped off the first layer of the cover just because it was flopping around all over the place and yeah so this is my steering wheels condition right now um i am partnering up with a steering wheel place in orlando they're gonna get my baby right so make sure you um keep an eye out for that video and i'll have all the information as far as the quality i'll review it and everything um my shift knob also is eight up also got to get a new one i might hit the junkyard or check online for something relatively nice i don't want anything crazy no skulls or anything like that let me take a sip i lost this a couple days ago not sure where it fell i think it fall, fell on the floor never saw it again as far as my radio and everything everything works perfectly fine that's great i have a lot of stains a lot of stains i plan on painting the headliner black and redoing all over i have some loose spots like for example this is way too loose it's not supposed to be this loose this is falling apart it's not supposed to be like this because i broke the clip my lights are starting to dim this kind of started popping out 
Um, my armrest looks like hell. I'm not sh even sure. I, I don't even know what to say about that. It's still good. They just need a little bit of cleaning because you know you can see my where I put my head all the time. And over here, since I usually have a lot of female passengers or a lot of other people, you can see that spot is different than mine. I don't really rest my head too much on it, but other people be falling asleep and stuff. So that's that. As far as the back seat, there's not really any imperfections in the back seat. The leather still looks good and everything. I got my work shoes back there, a jacket, ignore all of that. Nothing is really wrong with the back seat. Um, as far as the engine and everything is concerned, nothing again is wrong there. I have a uh, oil leak going on right now with the um, from my rear valve cover, but I just have to order that and fix that. Um, that's not really too big of a concern of mine, um, but that pretty much sums everything that's going on with the car. Now, you guys, I told you guys I was at 200,000 miles, so let's go ahead and crank it up and give you guys, you know, a little look into how the car's still sounding, how it's still performing, and um, we'll drive back home. since I have that rear valve cover that's kind of leaking oil and stuff um, my my um, catch can has been getting a lot of pressure and shooting a little bit more oil than you know previously but go ahead and show you guys the dash sitting at 206,334 that's how many miles I got on the baby right now and like I said, imperfections, this was to kind of show you guys that, yes, it looks good, good in pictures. Yes, it looks good from far away, but there are a lot of things that needs to be fixed with her. Um, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Um, give you guys a little cinematic trailer, a little cinematic of the car since I did get a car wash and all. And it's parked up in front of this building and I like how everything's looking right now with the cloudy sky and all. But you already know. I appreciate all of y'all. I do these videos because of y'all. Y'all asked me to do them. Also, I want to give a shout out to the homie for pretty much telling me to make this video. He challenged me to make this video, so I did. So shout out to you for shout, um, telling me to make this video i'm getting out of breath just because i'm hungry i haven't eaten since this morning it's like 3 p.m right now i haven't even had breakfast but you already know man it's your boy this b gamma you're gonna have more to come we're gonna have more to see I'm, I'm backwards i'm backwards do something do but i do but i'm oh wait 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 before i say i'm out here yeah make sure y'all check out the store man you guys ask me for merch and i drop the merch okay out here that store on instagram out here that score is also the website okay make sure you guys check it out get some shirts i'm adding hoodies too get some hoodies you know new colors are being added once in a while so make sure you guys keep up all right if you guys have any ideas for merch that y'all would like to get dm me give me some ideas and i will produce things for you guys if possible so again it's your boy this gamma more to come more to see more to do before right now my niggas riding foreigns, this ain't nothing new. Don't fuck wrong with all these niggas talking sweet shit. What? If you gon' spend the block, my nigga, you need three clips. Uh. Every nigga around me on that ape shit. Yeah. Fuck nigga talking crazy, he get sprayed quick. Stunning made it, oh, they gotta be a hit.
I ain't rich yet, but I'm trying I got my head in the clouds, feel like I'm flying I ain't never leave the crib without my shooter I put some ice all on my watch, feel like a cooler I got young killers by my side, I know what do ya Can't measure loyalty or lover with a ruler Yeah, yeah, yeah I keep my cool like I'm a freezer Fuck a bitch that did me wrong, bitch, I don't need ya Fuck your apology, I hope I never see ya Don't wanna be ya Don't wanna be ya Don't wanna be ya Don't wanna see ya People say I got an attitude, but I'm just confident Done a lot of shit up in my past that had a consequence Working on myself, gon' take some time, but I ain't through yet Coming back to back, they like my songs, they give me compliments They say, show you making progress Concentrating on my work, I trust the process Ain't nobody gon' give you shit, that's been my mindset Ain't no more defense with this shit, I'm playing on offense Playing on offense I'm playing on offense Playing offense Playing offense, no more defense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't rich yet, but I'm trying. I got my head in the clouds, feel like I'm flying. I ain't never leave the crib without my shooter. I put some ice all on my watch, feel like a cooler. I got young killers by my side, I know what to do, yeah. Can't measure loyalty or love up with a ruler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't measure love without a ruler. Can't measure love up with a ruler. Yeah, yeah, yeah.